Okay, today's do-it-yourself project is house bolting. What you have here is your sill, and just below it, you have your concrete foundation. Now, if you have an old house, like this one was built in 25, chances are it's not bolted. So, it's a good idea to get it bolted just because you have earthquakes and, you know, could cause damage if it slips off the foundation. So what you're going to need, hammer, wrench, nylon brush for cleaning out your hole. These are anchor bolts, 7 inches long, 5 eighths thick. This is, a, this is a bearing plate. These are about 75 cents each. Hardware store. All this stuff you can get at the hardware store. These bolts are about five bucks. Shop vac or a brush, anything to clean out the area after you do the drilling. And a rotary hammer drill. This is a 10 amp model, which I recommend. It's got a little more power. And a masonry bit. This is a 13 inch masonry bit, 5 eighths thick. These are about 30, 35 bucks. I recommend getting a good bit because it'll make your job a lot easier. And these uh, these drills are about 90 bucks at Home Depot, or I'm sorry, uh, Harbor Freight. So what you do is get a nice centered area here. And try to make it as vertical as possible. Let's see, you know, unfortunately we don't have a lot of room here, so it's going to be a little bit of an angle. And drill the hole. what I forgot to mention, mask, eye protection. So you got your hole, next thing you want to do is clear it out with the shop vac. brushes are very useful for clearing out the holes. You don't want any debris in there. Uh, it's like getting in the way of the anchor bolt. Next thing, place the bolt in, shake it around a little bit. You're going to take your hammer, hammer it in the rest of the way. Last step, tighten it. Now, if you have a torque wrench, they recommend 48 pounds of pressure, but I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm just kind of just hand tighten it. There you go. It's a real snug fit. And there you go. Here's your house bolt.